can still pay. Yeah. 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 So my question is, when did you start doing music? Mm, it's not that serious rap, new. How do you market music? Um, <laughs> as much as it's a hobby, you know, it's it's good to do everything you do, even your hobbies, like with all. Just do your best at whatever you do. So as far as marketing, there are many different ways that musicians, not just me, are marketing themselves right now. The biggest one right now is online, you know, with social media and, and all that. And that's right. that right now is the biggest way for musicians or artists of whatever kind of art to connect with their people and market themselves and their art. Yeah. Okay, so what are your expectations from Coke Studio? Expectations from Coke Studio? Well, to discover, uh, the theme is discover. So I'm expecting to discover, you know, many things from, I've already discovered a few things from all these different countries and cultures and to learn and learn and learn. You know, it's always a good exchange when you're working with guys who are so professional and so detailed in everything they're doing. So I expect to learn and discover a lot. Yeah. So you are away, came, and I can describe your entry as disruptive. Disruptive? Yes. <laughs> are you at the music time with other musicians in the I, Well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not very... I don't know too many of them personally but the ones that you know i do are my friends and everything's fine and there's not been any problems at all yeah so final question what is your message to upcoming musicians my message is the same do songs that you like you know do songs that you feel you'll be proud of not just a month from now, but years from now, you can look back and say, I'm proud of what I did, you know? And enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. This thing doesn't last forever, you're not young forever. Just enjoy yourself. It's supposed to be fun, you know? It's not supposed to feel like a strain. Once it feels like a strain, you're doing something wrong, yeah. Okay, that's all. Thanks, Ambrose, yeah. Okay, thank you. Hi, what's up? How are you doing? Good, good. My name is Douglas. Douglas. Yes, I work for the Insider. Ah, yeah. You guys are still? We are still there, yeah. Hey. What's your talk on the Wow. You know, we started with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I need, this one is, who's it? Okay, you're Insider also? Okay. Oh, okay, but you have all, okay, so. Ins Adam is still there and Anne and all this. Who is there now? Garuya. They are still there, even Adam. Hey. Adam is still there. This guy said no. <laughs> Douglas. Wow. Hey, insider, thanks, man. Those guys, like, they literally started our career off. Yeah. You can ask a hundred questions. No. Thank you so much. Okay, but I have a couple of things. So, okay. So, uh, my first in your song now you know. You said, You're left handed. Yeah. Say mini lemgenya lika sikumbili. Yeah. Yeah, which alludes to the fact that you did your thing while you were crying. Um, overstay their welcome. Yeah. That's an interesting question. I think people. I think this thing is for everyone, man. You can stay as long as you want. The, it's not more about the uh, Mgeni part. It's more about how people treat you. People treat you like Mgeni Amekasana. It doesn't mean when Mgeni Amekasana. You understand? Yeah, that's what I'm... I don't know how you put that in Insider, but that's what I'm trying to... That's the whole gist of... That's the spirit behind the, that line. Yeah. Also, um, if I may go back to the past, your song with Klepto, Twendele. Yeah, right. speak, speak, speak a bit louder. Okay, your song with Klepto, Twendele, yeah. was initially intended to be a diss track, was it? A response. A response. Yeah. Yes, and it has become a song that has highly resonated with Kenyans. Like Kenyans it's the best, 
this track ever. We, were, we, were, we compiled. It was, it was a big group of artists. Yes. So we compiled them together because we didn't have time to go one by one individually. We would have loved to go one by one and customize for everyone. Hi, artist A, this one is for you. Artist B, this one is for you. Well, I'm joking. This is not <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a response. There was a lot of talk about how... You're not recording. Oh, there was a lot of talk about how... Um, you know... People need to rap more. Some, some, I can't even remember. Something like that. But... At the end of the day... <laughs> Americana. <laughs> Americana. So, there was a lot of talk about how people need to rap more or something. And it was just one of those things, just a reminder, like, we're doing all the styles. It's not because I'm doing hare and swing, can't jump on this side and outperform you. Say that it's one of the best, the best disc track of all time. Do you think it will become one of the best hip hop? No, songs? people say, not me. People say that's important. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> did you anticipate it will become not only one, not only the best, according to people, the best disc track of all time, but one of the best hip hop songs of all time? In my opinion, wow. did you anticipate? I did not. Thank you for that. I did not anticipate. Um, I did not really think about that. I try to stay away from giving my songs a, a, an expectation of, oh, this one is going to be a big hit. Everyone will love it. Or this one is not, you know, I try to stay away from that. It's natural to kind of feel, hey, this one is connecting. But we knew. As soon as we had the song, you know, usually we have people who listen to our songs before they go out. Every, I think every musician does that. People listen to the stuff you're doing. You, get, you have like a small circle, guys give you the opinions. So, when we tested it, it tested very well. That's one song that tested very, very well. And everyone was like, this one is going to, you know, yeah. But as far as, it, sorry. As, as far as expectations, no, did not expect. My yeah. last question, you have a message for teenagers? Teenagers. Teenagers, respect your mom and dad. You know, I think people go through a phase where, because your dad, you always respect your dad if you have your dad, you know, he's dad. But I think people go through a phase where they see their mom as... I always like to stress to people, respect your mom. Yeah, your mom... No one is... Like, your mom loves you. No one can love you there. Even your dad can't love you there. Your mom loves you, I believe. That's a weird message, yeah? For teenagers. You thought I'd say... Stay in school, keep off drugs. Actually, yes, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> no. Love your mother. Thank you. You're welcome. Insider? Where is your... Emma, you'll remember. Oh, it's recording? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, what is the biggest change you've seen in the industry? That's the place that you want to be. You're Okay. So, basic. Tell me about your cook's studio experience. What, what would you like to know? How your experience has been like working with other artists, making new music? Uh, it's been fun, fun, fun experience. Uh, it doesn't feel like work when you're having so much fun. <laughs> it feels like work. What did you say? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's fun, fun experience. Uh, I get to learn so much from these amazing, amazing artists. 
um, and it's good to also hang out with them and get to know them as people you know that's 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 a dope 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 aspect of it as well <laughs> tell me about your style my your style is style. is my fashion style yeah. it's uh, I, comfortable i like to be comfortable in anything i wear you know so you if it's cold, I'll wear a sweater. <laughs> you don't feel like your music interpretates into your fashion? I think my personality, inter my music interpret interprets my personality and everything that goes with it, including my fashion sense. Right. But I don't, the way, even the way I do my songs, I don't do my songs at I, I do. I can't do this song because, you know, or I can't dress like this because I did this song or something like that. I'm just me. Alright. Yeah. So thank you. You give a chance. That's it. Guys you have two questions. Two. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to ask more. You woke up in the morning. Ukatoka home. Ukakambaka Stanley. Kuliza two questions. No, actually, I had more, but ask. I've been told. To no, you, you ask, to ask, ask, ask your questions. Ask. So, business, do you have anything else that you do apart from the music? No, I'm doing only music. Only music? Yes, and I want people to be proud to say they're doing only music in this country. You know, it's like, there are two things, which, okay, three things. One is when people say, local artists, so and so. Instead of saying, Kenyan artists. You're Kenyan, but okay, like Saudi Soul, they're Kenyan. They're not local. People hear them all over the world. That's number one. Number two, it's like it's cool to say, hey, this is like a rant. Anyway, it's like it's cool to say, you know me, I don't even listen to local, but I like your song. I don't even listen to local, but I like the song you did on the, in the desert. <laughs> so how would you like to address those guys? Just stop, man. It's cool to be Kenyan. It's cool to have... Our Kenyan bracelets are cool. Our Maasai market has dope stuff. It's cool to say Kenyan. You know? It's okay. Then what was the other one? You said something else that I was going to rant again about. I forgot. Anyway. Yeah, what else? So, do you think uh, Fox Studio will help Kenyan artists grow beyond? Yes, personally, it will help me because I've learned so much from guys like Trey Songs, Yemi, yeah. you know, Vanessa, all these guys. I've, I sit there and watch and learn and pick up one or two things from every one of them. And, and it's a good experience. And even when guys watch and see how the songs are performed and all that, it's, it's a good platform. But do you, you know, think what Coke Studio is doing is a great, great thing. Do you think music in Kenya is enough to sustain someone's life, lifestyle? Not music and... Oh, that was the third thing. I want this industry to grow so much that eventually people can say, proudly say, I'm a musician. That's what I do. People want to ask you, a musician? Okay, what else do you do? Like if I tell you I'm a doctor, you say, okay. Yeah, you say, okay, that guy's a doctor. You know, I say, oh, you're a doctor, okay, so what else do you do? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, right now, you know, you have to be the top, in the, you know, top 10, top, let's say top 10, top 20 to make a living that's, you know. Yeah, but yeah, the guys who are really trying to make it can't really, it doesn't, you can't really have a good, uh, you can pay your bills here and then make it work, but it, it can, we can definitely do better, the industry can definitely improve. So, what would you tell someone? This is the last one. Okay, what would you tell someone mm -hmm. who wants to start out in music? Someone wants to start out? To prepare for, to start music. Okay, I would say, do songs that you like you the musician do songs that even when you're 90 years old you can sit back and probably say i wrote this song and i'm proud of it and i like what i said in this song I like what my message was i like how i sang and i had fun that way even if your songs never go anywhere you have one fun you